The pen tool is one of the most exact ways to select something in Photoshop. It is also probably the hardest to get a hang of. The pen tool is down here and you see we have pen tool, a freeform pen tool, and then add, subtract, and convert anchor points. So let's just start off with the basic pen tool. There's a few things you want to be sure. If you look up in the options menu, up here there's shape layers and there are paths. We are talking about paths, meaning a means of selection. Also up here we have the same sorts of things that we had before as well as the ability the rectangle tool and so forth to make pins that are shapes. Add and, and delete auto points or anchor points which we'll go over in just a second. And then the add, subtract, and intersect things that we have with all uh, options that we have with all uh, selections. So the big thing here for me is that under the pen options, I like to have rubber band. If you don't have a rubber band, this is what you have. You click a point, a point, and a point. You see how you can't see where the point is going to join or how it's going to join? So we don't want that. If I have the pin tool and the rubber band selected, you can see I now can see where my points are going, which makes it, in my mind, a little bit easier to, um, to get things. Now, if you look over here, this thing that I've been taking uh, pieces out of, if you go under Window and you go under Paths, that will pull up this palette called Paths. And you can see I already have a couple made here. The thing is, is that when I use the pin tool, and I click, you notice that automatically I get a work path. Okay, now this work path can be um, just made into a selection at any time. Then, and if I command D and hit work path again, you see that this work path is still there. The nice thing about paths is that they save with the image. So the basic rule is anything that takes longer than 30 seconds hell, 15 seconds to select, you need to make into a path or you need to make it into a channel, which is a separate demo. So this works just like a very similar to your layers palette. So part one, we're going to just talk about how you make a path. Okay, so what you do is you Go and zoom up on a piece that you want. And right now, I just want this woman's bonnet. And what you're going to see is, the first things you need to get down is a straight line is you click and you drag. And you click and you just drag and you click. However, if I want to curve, if I click on the point I want, hold the mouse down, and then let go, you see I get this tail, which is really nice. And then I can click and that curve is there. I can also click again, let go, and drag. Now, there's another way to do this as well. If you click, drag, and then pull, you can also get a curve. So let me do that one more time. You click the mouse down, you click the next point you want, holding the mouse down, so that you click it, then you drag, and you'll get a little tail that you can arrange, like so. Okay, which way you use doesn't really make a difference. Um, it depends on how you um, just like to work. Some people that already know Illustrator will find the second way easier. People that are just learning may find the first way easier. So, now that we have that down, let's actually put that to, uh, to work here. So, I'm going to go here, and I'm going to click the mouse. I'm going to drag it, because this is a curve. And I'm going to get really nice up and close. Now, the thing about this is you need to be close to the selection for it to be exact. So, I'm going to go here, click, back up just a little bit, click, drag. And I could go for every one of these curves here. Hold the mouse down, drag, 
place, place. And then the longer the curve, the longer I'm going to drag and then hold it down. Now, with all of these, we're going to just go over here and go like so. So now we have a path over here. The nice thing about paths is that they're not permanent. If I go hold this down, excuse me, if I go over the image here and I just hold down the command key, I get a white arrow. This is a sub-selection key. And what it allows me to do is if I poke on a point here that has a curve, I can reposition these and change the curve any way that I want. So let me pull one here that you can see a little bit easier. So I have this curve and I can readjust. And I can continue to readjust these curves as much as I want. Like so. Let's say I just want to do this outside piece here. Okay. So I would go click, 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 get a little bit closer so you can see what's going on here, click, little curve, click, hit the mouse down, do this expanse, go around this object, okay, now when I complete the circuit the icon as with all these tools will change and say have the pin tool with a little circle next to it, meaning I have a complete path. Now, this work path, if I were to save this image right now, would not be there. You need to actually save your path. So what you want to do is you want to double click on it and then preferably name it. So we'll name it uh, opening and hit OK. Now, that it doesn't say work path, if I save this image and I open it up later, this path will be there. 